Hi you guys, Jaleesa here. In this video, I am going to be showing you how I maintain my straight natural hair. I've had my hair straight for about two weeks now and I got it straightened by a professional natural hairstylist. And yeah, you guys know I have had the worst luck trying to straighten my own hair so I left it in the professional's hand this time. And she did a great job. So yeah, like I said, I've had my hair straightened for about two weeks now and it has been holding up through the rain and the sunshine. So one of the first ways that I like to do my hair at night to maintain my straight hair is to just do a simple wrap. So right now I'm just taking my comb and just brushing, combing out my hair. Why do I always say brush? <laughs> I'm combing out um, any kinks or anything that I have and then I'm going to begin to just comb my hair in a wrap around my head. You guys have seen the normal way to wrap your hair. So I'm just going to do that. And since my hair is a little dirty now, it's kind of weighed down with coconut oil, it's more easier to wrap my hair. But when I first got my hair straightened, it was a lot harder because the hair was just falling everywhere. So yeah, I'm just taking a few bobby pins and I'm just going to pin that wrap down and yeah, just secure it and get ready to um, tie my satin scarf down. Like I said, I'm taking my satin scarf, um, not a cotton scarf. You want to take a satin scarf and tie it around your wrap really tight. Not too tight where it's going to give you a headache, you guys. But I'm just going to tie my satin scarf around my head. Make sure that the ends are tucked in. And then I also like to go on top of that satin scarf and put my satin bonnet on top of my head. And with this particular satin bonnet, it has a little string in the back where I could tie it tightly. And I'm not, I don't really have to worry about that coming off my head at night. So that's perfect. So the next morning, I like to go ahead and take off that satin scarf and bonnet and my hair is still intact and I go ahead and take out those bobby pins and I don't really use the comb when I'm getting ready to take down my wrap. I like to just kind of use my hands to just knock it down and, you know, work it how I want it to go. So yeah, this is how I would do my hair when I first got my hair straightened. I would do it in a wrap. So I like to use coconut oil on my hair. You guys do not, when you straighten your hair, do not, do not, do not, I can't say it enough. Don't go back over your hair with a flat iron if it begins to get frizzy. Don't do that. That's where heat damage comes into play. Use coconut oil to wrap your hair. Use coconut oil to do bantu knots. And right now I'm just putting my hair up into a high ponytail and I'm going to do one giant bantu knot. I didn't really feel like doing a bunch of different bantu knots so I just put my hair in one ponytail. Gave myself a little bantu knot or top knot whatever you want to call it. And I go ahead and tie my satin scarf around my hair. And I put my satin bonnet on top and tie it down to secure it. Now I like to do this little top knot because it really gives my hair a cute little wave or a cute little curl at the bottom. So I go ahead and take that ponytail down, kind of shake my hair out with my hands. I don't really use a comb or anything. And as you guys can see, it gave me a nice little wave. And I'm just going to play around with it until my hair falls how I want it to fall. But yeah, as you can see, I didn't have to use any curlers or anything. I already have a little bump at the end of my hair. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and share with a friend. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!